her CEO job. Richard Quest is out front. And Richard, why the sudden and amazing and overwhelming interest in Marissa Meyer? It doesn't matter which way you cut it, this woman is seen as a rock star, a superstar in the CEO suites of the world. Uh, young, has a young family and has taken over a company some would see as, uh, as obsolete or at least an albatross and is now having the job of turning it around. So when she came to Davos and gave that speech, she was very much setting out the parameters of how Yahoo is now going to move forward. As she admitted in the speech, it has no mobile hardware, it has no mobile software, it has no OS, but what she talked about was uh, Yahoo's ability to partner with all these other people and that is the way she sees it going forward yeah you know it's amazing Richard I remember um, you know meeting her once at a magazine shoot and I always thought she was incredible because she's so successful uh, at her job at the time she was at Google she was so successful there and yet she was also very comfortable saying I'm a woman and I enjoy things that people think are female clothes things like that I'm not gonna be some sort of a you know a woman executive who has to act like a man and maybe that uh, uh, maybe that uh, is part of the fascination Nah, the fascination here. Yeah. The fascination here is what she's taken on. I mean, all right, super mum has the child back in the office within a couple of weeks. But the real fascination is what she's taken on and her youth. Can she take Yahoo, turn it around and make it into a success, particularly after all the other people who have not had any success in that regard? That is why people are fascinated by her. That is why they were so interested to hear. Yeah, well, she is fascinating. Now, Davos, uh, she may have been one of the stars, but obviously you have movers and shakers uh, from around the world. Derek Jeter is there. Celebrities are there. Prime ministers and presidents are there. Just how uh, wealthy are the folks are that are there with you tonight, Richard? Look, you know, when you come here, you know that there will be a moment, and it happened to me yesterday and it happened to me today, when you just become overwhelmed by the sheer number of, I, I, I'd say, important you know, people, the presidents, the prime ministers, whether it's the governor over here, whether it's the bank executive over here, the chief executive over here, the minister over there. Time and again, you're literally going like this. And there comes this point, Aaron, when you just feel like you've been my, what, could I really, you just don't know which way to turn. And there is, I'm not going to say which CEO, but there was a couple of them here that you saw several times and you really ended up going round the corner to avoid them because you had nothing else to say to them. You'd done all your small talk, you'd asked them all the questions, you didn't really know what else you wanted to say. But ah. Davos works. Davos works. It is elite. It is sometimes pretentious, it is frequently obnoxious, and it is regularly irrelevant. But it works because it brings everybody together at the beginning of the year to set an agenda and mm. let everybody else know what each other's thinking.